Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. It's Tuesday night. We're back at Oakwell. It's a big, big fixture tonight. We take a Ipswich, who are absolutely flying at the moment. A lot, lot of games unbeaten. They've not conceded many goals, and they're coming into this fixture trying to solidify first slash second spot with uh, this being as Ipswichers and Plymouths game in hand over Sheffield Wednesday. Obviously, we know that we're in the playoffs. Uh, top two, it's not impossible, but it's very unlikely. Mathematically, yes, if the other teams slip up in the last two games, but with the form, Plymouth, Wednesday and it's which are all in, it's unlikely we're going to catch them. But today, it'd still be great to win, keep the momentum going into the playoffs, keep the home winning record going, but it's not going to be as easy as that. We're taking an Ipswich, it's going to be a very tough game. They're one of the best teams in the AFL right now when you look at statistics. They're also bringing around 5,000 fans, so props to every Ipswich fan that's coming up. Obviously, they're doing well, so expect them to bring a big following, but it's a long way on a Tuesday night, so fair play to them. We'll hopefully be meeting some of their fans later on. I'm looking forward to this one. It's a big one. Like I say, hopefully we can keep the momentum up going into the playoffs. And always give us that hope of top two. It's unlikely, like I already said, we can still get 94 points. So anything is possible after the way we stayed up last year. And that year we snuck into the playoffs after being bottom at Christmas. Anything can, is possible in football. So I'm looking forward to tonight, despite that. If you are new, please subscribe. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. I say this every video, but we are less than 180 subscribers off 5K. If we can hit that for the end of the year, that would be fantastic. And I'm going to go for a big light goal today. I'm hopefully going to get this up on the Tuesday night, straight after the game. I'm going to ask for 250 likes. I think that's one of the biggest light goals I've ever asked for, but I'm going to ask for it on this one. 250 likes. If you are an Ipswich fan over on the channel and you do enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe. It would be massively appreciated. Shout out to Matchday sponsor, Bandsport.com. The link is in the top of the description. So thank you to them as always for sponsoring the channel. Also, as you can see on the screen, thank you to the members who have joined. You can join by clicking the join button, which is next to the subscribe button, where my name is on the YouTube video. So if you want to join that, feel free. It helps the channel out massively. But yeah, let's get to Oakwell. Hope for a very insane game. I think there's going to be a lot of goals. I'll give my score prediction outside Oakwell like I always do. But let's get to Oakwell and hope for a good game. And hopefully a very noisy crowd coming in your heads. Hi right, guys, we're here with Alex Griffin, the main man. How Hello. was how was the journey up, mate? Uh, mate, it was it went really quick. Yeah. Um, three and a half hours. We're here now. The nerves are really kicking in. Um, this is really make or break for us today. We win today, and I think that does seal promotion. I know mathematically it hasn't, or it wouldn't, but I feel like Exeter and Fleetwood, we will definitely beat one of those teams. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, if you pan that way, it's very very busy at Oakwell. The, the queue is never usually that far out. So, 5,000 uh, town fans here tonight, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I mentioned that in the intro. You'll hear us. We'll be so loud tonight. Great following from you a lot. Obviously, that'll be very intimidating for our players. Obviously, I know you want to get in, Shriga. We're all looking forward to it. What's yeah. your score prediction? I'm going for a 2-1 win tonight. Um, I'm optimistic. I'm nervous, but I think we will do it. Um, Chaplin is going to score today. Yeah, you do know it. Of course he is. Um, but 2-1. Right. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Best of luck. Josh Benson, 16, Luke Thomas, 17, Barry Cotter, 26, Ziana Ketch, 34, Slobodan Tillich, and 47, Max Waters. Your referee tonight is Ben Toner. Well, the Royal Houston, 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 Cannon back in team, making an impact already. Switch ball, great ball in. Good chance to Williams, but he puts it wide. Get out. Oh my god. What an effort. I think it were him. That is some effort. We didn't close him down at edge of box, he's had a pop and he's hit the woodwork, that would have been some goal. Oh, oh. oh he's dragged it, that's a big opportunity blown from Phillips. Oh, I oh, didn't want to drop there. We've still got it, come on. Oh, come on Jimmy. Keep going lad. Oh, good effort. Move, move 
Paul Williams, lad. It's still on. It's still on. Off the ball, ref. Off the ball? Put it in, put it in. Go on, Bobby. Great ball across, no one there. Oh. Oh. Get, Norwood, get, in there, Norwood. get out of a Nicky. Fucking effort, Cole, man. Can the free dummies work? That's good, good, good goalkeeping. Oh! Come on, Cole! Run at him, Cole! Run at him! What is that? <laughs> Phillips is down. That's not good. It's gone in somehow. Yeah, right before our time. Someone flicked on a front post or something and it snuck in. I didn't even realise. I thought it hit the side netting, but it's gone in. The Ipswich fans reacted late, and it's 1-0. It's been a very even game, with very few chances. We'll have nicked it before half time, and it's 1-0 Ipswich. I played it to his fans when they eventually realised the ball went in. There were some crazy limbs. We're claiming for on ball. Their striker's now in. Oh no. George Hurst is in. Still going. He shoots and it's a goal. Ball at the top between Mad Anderson and Gorgeous. They're both grabbing over each other. It could have been a foul either way, but he breaks free, cuts back, puts it in the back of the net. It's a good finish. And the 5,000 hits with fans go crazy again. Very frustrating because we played pretty well. It's been a very even game. But they've took two of their chances and we haven't. That's the difference. That's why these boys are probably going up. You can see why they've been so prolific this year. Two goals right before half time. Frustrating. Time 2 2. I said my fourth before. Very frustrating. There's no one there. The big chance still on its second half. No one does the hard work to win it back. Falls in the middle of the box and no one's there. The gap between the strikes and the centre mids are too big. Get up! No way is he doing that. Fuck. Wow! No way! The refs give us no all game. I'm not saying that's how we lose because it's we deserve to be winning. There's been so many decisions is not give us, and then that is, that's not a penalty, is it? That is it's, never that's, a penalty. That's, that's, it's not, it's soft. It's it's very soft. Gone down like a sack of, sack of spuds, should we say. But they've got the penalty. Come on, Harry, lad. Do us justice. Pull a save out of bag. If the ref ever wants to let him take it. Save. That's gonna 
was just this. That's a great save. Oh, oh, and then the ref just gave another foul that wasn't a foul. Shocking EFL. What a shocking referee. Referees are embarrassing. Sort them out. Get them reviewed after the game. Let them do an interview. Let them say why they're doing these decisions. If I were doing my job, I'd get interviewed and the rest get away with it. But anyway, what a save, how nice to get in. Straight after the penalty, this will be damage limitation. You don't know what you do. Someone's thrown a bottle at his head. Deserves it. Absolute shocking referee. How he's got a job, I don't know. Fuck him, no cry baby. Embarrassing. Absolutely, absolutely embarrassing referee. Which are a good, good team and they're hard to break down, but a little chance of grabbing like that, they're throwing them away. Couple in first half, that one. But they had the very sword at back and were wasting chances. Wow, wow, another, another reason again. Shocking. Oh, no way. Cole spooned it. One of their guys got played for him, he did look a mile offside, I might be wrong, but off the, off the cuff of the eye he looked offside and he falls to Chaplin after I said right outside his box and Chaplin chips him, well, did chip him, just scored into an empty net and it's 3-0. When it comes to the combination of it was being good and the official was being shocking, they deserved it but still disappointing. All fans are giving goalkeeper and ref stick, refs have to pull him away. Both little ball jobs. Substitution for Ipswich Town replacing number 27, Richard Hurst. Oh, referee, help me, I'm scared of the bound for the ultras. <laughs> Switch. There we go, full time. A combination of Ipswich just being best team in the league, the best team I've seen, and they deserve to win. And the fans are incredible, so fair play to them. Playoff job for us. Sheffield Wednesday are now four points for Ipswich, so hopefully they'll miss out on top two. So it's not too bad losing if that's the case. And I'll see you on Saturday for MK Dons where we need to get back into good form for the playoff, because that's how we're going to try and go up this year. Thanks for watching. See you at MK.